In this video, let's learn how to reverse a linked list. Once again, I'm going to rely on visual representation to help you understand the implementation. To be honest, the code does not make sense if you don't have the mental image of what happens when you reverse a linked list. So please pay more attention to the visual representation than the actual code. If you understand the former, you will be able to write the code on your own. All right. Here we have a linked list with three nodes. Node one, two, and three. One is the head and points at two. Two points at three and three points at null. The reversed list contains three as the head node pointing to two and two points at one. Finally, one points at null. Hopefully, it is clear what the output should look like. Let's now get into the process of reversing a linked list. Here is how it is going to work. We're going to create two temporary pointers. Previous, which does not point at any node, technically points at null and current which points at head. For every node in the list, we execute four steps. Step one, we create a new temporary pointer called next and point it to current.next. Node two is the next node in our example. We then set current.next to previous. So one now points at null instead of pointing at two. The direction has reversed. We then update previous to current. So previous now points at one and current to next. So current now points at two. As you can see, the first node in the list is now reversed. We repeat the same operations for the second and third nodes. Next points at current.next. Current.next points at previous. Previous points at current. And finally, current points at next. Repeat the same for the third node. And we have the reversed linked list. Three pointing at two, pointing at one, which points at null. We do have one final change though, which is to assign the previous node as the head node. Remember, head should always point at the first node in the list. If this was slightly confusing, please rewatch the past few minutes. On the other hand, if you were able to understand the logic, let's head back to Replit and write the code. Let's call the method reverse. Within the body, we begin by defining two temporary pointers. Let previous is equal to null and let current is equal to this dot head. Next, for every node in the list, so while current is true, we perform four steps. Step one, create a temporary next pointer that points to the next node after current. So let next is equal to current.next. Step two, make the current node point in reverse. So current.next is equal to the previous node. Step three, advance the previous pointer. Previous is equal to current. Step four, advance the current pointer. Current is equal to next. This loop exits when all the nodes in the list have been covered. At this stage, make sure to set head to the new first item in the list. 
this dot head is equal to previous. Like I mentioned, a lot of pointers change what they point to and the code might seem a little confusing. My advice would be to thoroughly understand the slide before understanding the code. All right, let's test this method to make sure it works. I'm going to preserve only the insert statements and the last print statement. I will then call list.reverse and print again. When we run the code, we should see the original list 20, 30, 40 and 10 and the reversed list 10, 40, 30 and 20. The output is as expected. Our code works fine. Well with that, we have covered all the basic operations on a linked list. But we are not quite done with the topic of linked list itself. Join me in the next video where we will discuss about linked lists with not just a head but also a tail pointer. Thank you for watching and please do consider subscribing to the channel.